How's it going guys? Davey here from phonebuff.com and in this video we're doing a comparison between the Tegra 3 processor and the Exynos 4 Quad processor but specifically looking at the GPUs on these guys so the 12 core GPU here, the Mali 400 GPU overclocked from the version that we saw on the Galaxy S2 and basically we're going to see you know, which one actually performs better in the real world. We've seen benchmarks and from the benchmarks that I've seen online it looks like the Exynos 4 Quad with the Mali 400 GPU out edges the Tegra 3 processor, but I wanna see how it looks in real life. But before we do that, I'm gonna run a quick uh, benchmark just so you guys could see. I'll do Quadrant, and since I'm not looking for the CPU speed or memory speed, I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck the uh, other options here in this test. So I'm only gonna be looking at the 2D and 3D graphics. I'll hit start really quick, and I'll just kinda of skip through this so you guys can just get straight to the results. Okay, so the benchmark is done. Now obviously both of these devices are going to show up at the top because we only ran the graphics portion of the test. So the Nexus 7 with its Tegra 3 processor scored a 1356. It looks like 356, but there's a 1 there. It's not showing up, but it's 1356. There you go, that will show it. Uh, 1356 as you guys could see. And I will go ahead and look at the Equinos 4 Quad. And it scored a 1722. So. 1722. So like I said earlier, uh, the benchmark does seem to favor the Echinos 4 Quad. We'll go ahead and hit home on these guys and uh, we'll go ahead and run Google Earth to actually test the real world experience that you'll get with each of these devices. So I'm going to run Google Earth. I'm going to go to Las Vegas. If you guys are familiar with my uh, GPU tests that I've done in the past, I'm going to go to Las Vegas, let both devices load up the uh, terrain basically all the 3d buildings that are in vegas and after you know a minute or so of letting each load up i'll go ahead and do a pinch in pinch out and just kind of pan around test kind of see you know which one actually performs more smoothly and uh, honestly i mean i could have ran games on here obviously you have the tegra uh enhanced games on the tegra 3 and you don't have the on Equinus 4 quad but like you guys have seen on the channel you guys could actually do a hack that you know makes the non-Tegra processor have that same optimization. So comparing games isn't necessarily a uh, thing that you know I want to do for the actual test. Uh, Google Earth really helps with that because it really does put a lot of uh, pressure or strain on the processors more so than any other game I've seen. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and uh, let these guys load up for a minute and then I'll skip to the actual test. All right, so I let both devices load up for like a minute or two. Hopefully they're both done. I'll go ahead and uh, start the test on the Equinos 4 Quad because I did load that one up a little bit faster or a little bit uh, before I did it on the Tegra 3. So anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and pinch in and out. So we're looking at a 3D building. This building right here is the Venetian. Now you guys can actually see it say Venetian right here. So I'm just going to zoom in and out and just kind of pay attention to how smooth and or choppy the uh the whole experience is so I'll zoom in on it a little bit more we'll do a 3d kind of landscape and then we'll move from side to side look at some of the other buildings all right and I will go ahead and look at the win building now and I will do the same exact thing on the Asus Nexus 7 to test that Tegra 3 processor. And uh, the good thing about testing these two tablets is that they're both running the same resolution at 1280 by 800. So the resolution, you know, won't play a factor as far as, you know, one having the edge over the other. And of course, both devices are on the same Wi-Fi network. And now you can see pretty smooth. I mean, for the most part, everything seems like it isn't, you know, lagging or anything. Uh, compare this to some of the uh, other devices I've done. I mean much much smoother compared to the dual cores you know the snapdragon s4 um and you know other processors like the uh, omat 4460 uh this quad core processor definitely can handle it a lot better and uh we'll just kind of look at uh, this last building really quick we'll do a 3d view all right so hopefully that gives you you know idea as far as the performance you could expect out of that guy and uh we'll go ahead and push this off and uh, now let's look at the Nexus 7 with the Tegra 3. So, all right, we'll again do the pinch in and pinch out. 
And now we'll do a little 360 view. And then we'll kind of pan around. So let me go back in front of it like I did in the last test. So we'll pan. And pretty much it looks like I'm getting just about the same kind of performance. Um, not really, you know, something that I could say easily one is better than the other. Um, maybe you got a little bit choppy right here with the Tega 3. But there's, you know, the moments where the Echnos 4 Quad had, you know, its choppiness. So really hard to tell. I mean, usually I'm able to get a much better indicator as far as, you know, one outperforming the other. When it comes to this, it doesn't seem like it's making that big of a difference. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, win. Now, of course, you know, this is my opinion. If you guys, you know, are watching the video and kind of could rewind and fast forward and look at uh, the direct comparisons, you'll get a better idea as far as, you know, one performing better than the other. But right now, it kind of actually feels like they're pretty much the same. I mean, I don't know. It looks pretty good to me. So let's go to that last building that I looked at right over here. And we'll do the 360 view of it. And, I mean, really, really smooth performance on the Tiger 3. So, um, I really can't say, you know, which one performs better just from this comparison. You know, you go off the benchmark and you say, you know, the Echinos 4 Quad seemed like it did perform better. You know, we'll, we'll take one last look at it side by side. So, I'll do a 360 view. And you can see, I mean, it's really, really smooth. I'll try to spin faster, actually, see if that will give us an idea. So, I'm spinning pretty fast. And it's handling it pretty well. So we'll do the same thing here. We'll zoom in on the same building. And we'll try to spin it fast. And again, it seems to be handling it pretty well as well. And you got to remember, I mean, right now, there's a lot of 3D content being loaded on. It doesn't look like much, maybe. But if you feel these two tablets, I can feel them getting hot through the screen. You know, if I turn them around and felt the battery... Those things are burning up right now, but again, it looks really smooth. So anyway, just wanted to do this comparison video. You know, unfortunately, we didn't get a clear winner. You know, you kind of have to go off maybe the benchmark and assume that, that maybe the uh, AC, or the uh, Equinox 4 Quad is better. But at the same time, you know, benchmarks aren't a reflection of real world experience. You know, when it comes to real world experience, it seems the same. And also, the Tega 3 processor has its advantages because when it comes to actually taking advantage of the great you know graphics capabilities, Tekken 3 actually does that more so than the Echinos because there's Tekken 3 optimized games. There isn't Echinos 4 quad you know optimized games out on the Play Store. So you know you give the edge for the benchmarks here, you give the edge for the better games and optimized games here, and uh, from the real world performance, they seem just about the same to me. And uh, pretty much you gotta pick your poison. But anyway, that's it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.